Hey guys, it's Holly. Today I'm very excited because we have the 2020 Winter Pusheen box and this is the 10th anniversary of Pusheen. So to Pusheen, I just want to say happy birthday. I still love Pusheen today as much as I did back then and I'm very excited about this box. So let's go ahead and get into it. I am also all pastel to match the box because obviously. By the way, for those that were asking when I wore this in another video, this headband is from Puroland, which is the Sanrio theme park in Tokyo. And this is the little twin stars headband. They have a headband for every character and I love it so much. And it's perfect for this box because the box has stars all over it. It says 10 years, has a little pushing on there and of course the little feeties. So let's get into it. It says 10 years, love it. The first thing is the sweater which is so cute. I did see this on their Instagram. So it is a white sweatshirt. It's just regular sweatshirt material. Has cute pastel pink sleeves. And then it looks like an embroidered pusheen with a sushi. I'm trying to decide if the sushi says 10 or not, or if it's just supposed to be the insides of a sushi, but it's really, really cute. Let's put this on because the sweater I'm wearing is extremely hot. Okay, it's on. It's super cute. Now, I will say that these sweaters in the pushing box lately have been running small, so I would order a size up. I normally wear a size large t-shirt, and this is an extra large sweatshirt, and it's very tight on me. Like, this is fitting me like a large would, so I would order a whole size up, but this is super cute. I'm just so pastel. I love it. Okay, so the first thing I'm saying that I want to grab is this. This is so cute. This is stemless shatterproof glasses set of two. I wonder if that means they're not made of glass, if they're shatterproof. It says they're hand wash only, do not microwave, and they are not dishwasher safe. So they definitely are glass. I don't know what makes them shatterproof. I will say that these are super dirty and I know that they were just packaged in styrofoam. I mean, obviously I'm gonna wash these before I use them, but I'm just not used to opening a, a glass and it being so, so dirty. I don't know if you can see. Also, I will say that I'm slightly disappointed because you can tell where they have put the designs on these. So you can see that there is a square all the way around. I don't know if you can really tell, but there's like a box where they clearly like stamped the design on and it just looks kind of cheapy. Design is really cute. Pusheen with a little pizza and then Pusheen with a little burger. Yeah, there's just definitely like a line around it. This actually makes me really sad because it just looks cheapy. <gasps> Wait, are you supposed to peel it off? Okay, so literally this just started peeling off and I hope that that was supposed to happen. Was that just a protective coating on it? I'm confused. Okay, so never mind. This is peeling off and now it's super cute. Okay, I'm happy with that now. That saved it. But like, I have never had to peel a thing off of a glass before, but maybe I just don't buy a lot of glasses. I don't know, but that makes me feel better. Okay, so we'll peel this one off. I really hope, it just, it just makes me scared that this is gonna peel off somehow, but. Okay, well, that definitely made it better for me, so yay. Next we have this, which, what is this? Oh, it's a cotton mesh tote bag. Okay. Um, I mean, <laughs> What do you, what do, what, what would you use this for? The only thing I can think of is that this could hold like stuff if you go to the beach, like toys or like flip flops or something. I'm just very confused by this item, especially like for a winter box. What does the card say? Use this stylish and reusable mesh bag on your next grocery trip. I mean, what? Maybe fruit? This is so small too. It's just like a weird bag. Like look how much it opens. Like, I don't like it. I'm sure there are people out, out there that are like, this is so cute, Holly. I don't know what you're talking about, but I just don't get it. I don't get it. There is a really cute little keychain on here with Pusheen and a burger. So I will say that that's very cute, but I don't, I don't understand that. I don't get it. Ooh, then we have a pom-pom string light garland and I love this so much. 
over the course of getting pushing boxes, there have been several light up garlands and I think they're super duper cute. Oh, this is adorable. So it's battery operated. It has the little battery thing here. It looks like it takes two double A's. Yes. So there's little pom poms. Oh, I'm just so matchy matchy. I love it. And then we have little pushings. They're all little winky pushings, which is so cute. It's not super long, but it's perfect for like a backdrop or something. About as long as my arm span is, so. Actually, it'd be really cute to put on my train. I should do that. Next, we have this, which is an easel desk calendar. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't really use calendars, like physical ones. Also, my desk is always messy and I don't really have room on my desk, but let's see what it looks like. So we get just a plain block of wood and then we get cards for the month. So you basically put the cards in here and then it stands up like this. This is very, very cute. However, I feel like it was like, what's the cheapest item we can make? Let's print cards with a calendar and then get blocks of wood and cut a hole in it. Great idea. So we have cards for every month, super cute. Very simple as per pushing style. There's July, my birthday month, cute. So this is really cute. I mean, I honestly would probably skip the wood block and just hang these on the wall because I don't really need the wood block. It just seems kind of cheapy. I feel like if they had made this into a wall calendar, I would like it a lot more. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Ooh, next is a salt and pepper shaker set. These are so cute. I hope these are good quality. Please be good quality. <gasps> They're so cute. They're packaged really nicely. There is a pusheen and then there's a stormy one. I mean, they seem pretty good. Oh my God, that's cute. It has a P-shaped hole. <laughs> Not a P-shaped hole. <laughs> Holes in the shape of a P. Um, here is my thought. Wouldn't you assume that a salt and pepper shaker set, one would be P and one would be S for salt, like salt and pepper. But both of these say P on them. And so now I'm starting to wonder if the P stands for pushing. I mean, they're clear. So I guess you don't really need the top to be labeled salt and pepper. So maybe it is just P for pushing. These are really, really cute though. They're stormy and pushing. And there is not a plastic covering over these designs that I have to peel off. So that's good. Honestly, I feel like I'll probably put like sprinkles in here instead of salt and pepper because I have the grinder for salt and pepper, but can you imagine how cute these would be with like little sprinkles or even like little beads or something? Super cute. Then we have a plate set and this is a set. Then we have a plate set, which I'm loving. I love when we get really useful items. Like we got the salt and pepper shaker, the glasses and now plates. Like I can totally use this in my kitchen, which I love. So these are little melamine plates. They're the same design. Super cute, I love it. We'll definitely be using these. Then next we have the plush, and I'm really glad that we got a plush in this box. Did we get a plush in the last one? I don't remember, but this is super soft. It's pushing with a little pizza with the stars. Super cute, love it so much. Then lastly is the vinyl toy and she's holding a giant pink donut, which I love. There's Pusheen holding a donut that's like as big as her. It's very shiny and it has these star sprinkles on it. Super cute, I love it. <gasps> Ooh, the donut's kind of squishy. I mean, not like super duper squishy, but it definitely is less hard than the hard vinyl part. Ooh, a little squish squish. So that was it for this 2020 winter Pusheen box. Again, a big happy birthday to Pusheen for 10 years. I thought this was a great box to celebrate the anniversary. I love, of course, the whole theme with like the stars and the colors, of course. I really like the drinking glasses, especially now that I know that you just have to peel off the little paper on there because that was really bumming me out. Really like the plates. I will definitely use those. I probably won't use the salt and pepper shaker for actual salt and pepper, but they're really cute. Still don't know if it was a mess up or not that they both say pee on the top. 
Either way, they're really cute and I will use them somehow. The only item that I'm still really confused about, and maybe this is just me, but that mesh tote bag, what are you supposed to do with that? <laughs> it says you can put groceries in it, but you could put maybe like one thing of bananas in there. And like, I don't know. It just, it seemed like a very weird item. I don't get it. Maybe I'm not hip enough. I don't know, but I did not like that item. So that was the one item that I was very confused about. The calendar, I also think was like, maybe a little bit cheapy of an item, but I do really like the cards and I'll probably just like pin them to the wall. I kind of would rather have been just a regular like wall calendar. Love the garland. We'll probably try to put it on my tree somehow. Love the sweatshirt. Again, they run super small, so keep that in mind. But overall, I really like this box and it's still really, really cute. So if you are interested in pushing box, I will put all of the information down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.